Welcome back everybody to another Swift iOS tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna go over the basics of how to create a web browser app for iOS. Let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing we did is we went ahead and set up our storyboard. So we searched for WebKit view and we dragged that onto the storyboard. Now notice that the web view is deprecated. So you would probably wanna use the WebKit view. Then we added two buttons, the back button and the forward button. Then we went ahead and hooked up everything from the storyboard to our code. Here, here, and here. The web view is an outlet, and the two buttons are actions or functions. And just a quick reminder, to hook up things from your storyboard to your code, you can click on it, Hold down control and drag over. Okay, so for our back button and our forward button, what we've done here is reference the web view outlet, and to go back, we use dot go back. For the forward, we use dot go forward. The next thing we did is we create our URL. We put that inside the view did load. So for the URL, we create our constant, then we use URL inside the URL brackets, we go ahead and put in our URL string. Then we use the webviewoutlet.load. Inside the round brackets, we use URL request. Then inside those round brackets, we put in the URL that we created here. Now, a quick note, as we mentioned, in this tutorial, we're just gonna show the basics. If you were to create an actual app, additional error and corner case checking would probably be needed. However, what we have here should be enough to get you started. So let's go ahead and run it and see what we get. Okay, so we get the website for the URL string that we put into our code. Here. Let's go ahead and do a search. So we'll search for NASA. When you click inside the search box, if your keyboard does not pop up, you can use Command K, or you can go to Hardware, Keyboard, and Toggle Software Keyboard. Let's go ahead and click on NASA. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit. And let's click on the NASA website. Let's go ahead and continue to navigate the NASA website. And let's go to Missions International Space Station. Okay, so now let's go ahead and test our back button. So let's click back. Let's go back again. And back again. So the back button is working. Now let's go forward. And the forward button is working. Okay, so that's all we have for the basics of creating a simple web browser app for iOS. We will be doing many more iOS Swift tutorials in the near future. Join us for those and we'll see you next time.